Hey, what's up? I'm Matt Cornett. Hi, I'm Julia Lester. Hey, I'm Larry Saperstein. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Dara Renee, and you are watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with some of the cast of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for having us. Um, so we are going to play a quick game of Never Have I Ever. <laughs> Laugh so hard that I peed my pants. 100%. Oh my gosh. You. Oh yes, absolutely. Do you remember what you were laughing about? Um, no, but it's always, it always ends in like an uncomfortable piddle and then, you know, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Never have I ever fangirled or fanboyed a celebrity. Oh. oh I, now you guys have to spill. Who'd you fan, who'd you fanboy, Matt? Uh, Chris Pratt when we did D23 last year. How about you, Dara? Dara? Oh, um, Beyonce and Blue Ivy. Um, oh. I must say, when they did the Lion King premiere in Hollywood, I didn't get tickets because, of course, I wasn't cool enough. But um, I drove past and I like peeked over and I could see like Blue Ivy's braids, and I was like screaming. I was like, Oh my gosh, it's the, the Queen's family! And yeah, so. Season two, what can we expect? What is going on? All about more, like there's more songs, there's more dance numbers, there's more storylines. Uh, I think fans are gonna be so excited to watch uh, and, and sort of fall back into East High um, and, and go on the journey with us. And Beauty and the Beast is the play, is the play you guys are putting on, right? Yeah. Is there anything you could tell me about Beauty and the Beast? I think, I think we can all uh, probably agree in saying that it's extremely fun to get to see which character in our show gets cast as which Beauty and the Beast character. And I think there will be some that will surprise you, some that may not surprise you. Oh my God. Yeah, Matt, I was thinking you're Gaston. Is that wrong? I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to find out and see. That would that would make sense, right, for EJ? But we'll, we'll see. We'll have to just watch and see what happens. Um, and Julia, you your character is a songwriter on the show. Are you a songwriter in real life? And will there be an album coming out for your music anytime soon? Oh my goodness, definitely not anytime soon. I I sometimes write for fun, but I, I don't know if I would consider myself a songwriter. Um, but I definitely have lots of friends on the show to look up to if I ever wanted to get into that. <laughs> um, and I'm so curious, what were each of you up to before you got cast in this show? Um, it's actually um, so funny. I was um, a reoccurring on Blackish. So um, my character on there had like tattoos all over her face and um, I was playing a very different character from Courtney. <laughs> I was so grateful to even be able to audition for such an iconic franchise. And I was like, I could just play a tree. Like I don't even have to be a main character. I just want to be a part of it with these amazing people. Did any of you, well, so Julia, I know you did theater, but Matt, uh, Dara and Larry, did any of you not do theater or were you all theater kids in high school? I was very much a theater kid. I grew up in New York, uh, so you know I've always been around Broadway and theater. Um, I actually did Beauty and the Beast in uh, in high school, so getting to do Beauty and the Beast uh, again, sort of in East High, is is a, such a great gift. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely uh, I I loved theater. Actually, funny enough, I very much so felt like Troy in my real life because I loved basketball. I was on the basketball team and also was in theater. So I was like, when, when High School Musical was a, like, it, you know, when I was in school watching High School Musical, I was like, I am most definitely Troy. I play basketball, I'm in theater, it was great. Did you guys have to sing an audition song like, like, like you do in musicals? What song did you sing? Um, I came in with um, a song by Jesse J just to kind of show off my voice. And then as the audition process went on, we kind of found um, a more Ashlyn sort of sounding song. So I ended up singing Gravity by Sarah Bareilles as like the final Ashlyn audition song, um, which I think is perfect for Ashlyn. <laughs> I, I came in with my guitar and sang Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Um, I was originally gonna sing a country song because I love country music, but then I was like, you know what, country does not feel right for this. So uh, yeah, I came in, came in with some Ed Sheeran and, and guitar. 
Yeah, um, for my audition, I um, started off singing Whitney Houston, Saving All My Love. And they then they wanted to hear if I could like belt belt. So then I sang Almost There from Princess and the Frog. I, I actually didn't sing for my audition. Big Red was not written as a, as a singing role at first, um, but when uh, when I was in my, my final uh, chemistry read, uh, they found out that I was a tap dancer. Um, and so then they wound up kind of looking at my Instagram and, and looking at all that tap dancing stuff that I had online at the time. And then that was how Big Red sort of got this whole tap dancing storyline was uh, was because of uh, my tap dance training. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I can't wait for season two and I hope the rest of your day goes well.